favorite time of day is snack time. I found out that some of the kids at my school don't always have a snack, so I asked my mom if I could bring extras. So today, I'm filling up these snack bags. Every bag gets a chewy snack. Yum! Next, I'll put in a crunchy snack. And what do you need with every yummy snack? That's right, you need a drink. So every bag gets a juice box. You know, these bags do look kind of plain. Oh, I know! I can use stickers to decorate the bags. That's better. These stickers are so fun. Ooh. Ooh. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Getting ready for snack time, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm making fun snack bags for kids at my school. Sharing snacks is great. It's true. I know someone who fed a lot of people, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today, we're learning how to love people by helping. So I thought I would do something special. Are you ready to see today's cupcakes? Ta-da! <laughs> They're all different colors and flavors, but the special part is if you buy one cupcake, I'll give you another one to share with a friend, which is what today's story is all about. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about one way Jesus showed love to the people around him. It started with Jesus and his friends, the disciples. There was a crowd of people coming to see Jesus. There were over 5,000 people. Jesus loved them all. Jesus knew they would be hungry and wanted to help them. So Jesus asked one of his friends, where can we buy bread for all of these people? Bread for more than 5,000 people? Think about how much bread that would be. And then you'd have to pay for all that bread. There was a boy in the crowd who offered to share his lunch. The boy had five loaves of bread and two fish. Now, is that enough food to feed more than 5,000 people? <laughs> no, that's not enough food for more than 5,000 people. But listen to what Jesus did. Jesus took the boy's lunch. Jesus prayed and thanked God for the food. Jesus said everyone could have as much food as they wanted. Let's see if everyone got enough food. Raise your hand if you got food. Now raise your hand if you are still hungry. Wow! Jesus fed more than 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. But wait, there's more. Everyone ate and then Jesus said, If there's any food left over, put it in baskets and put it up here. Food left over? There's not going to be food left over. But there was. <laughs> Look, there were 12 baskets of food left over. <laughs> Jesus is amazing! Jesus helped a lot of people that day by feeding them. You can love like Jesus too, by helping. You can help set the table. You can give a snack to someone who is hungry. You can give a hug when someone is sad. There are so many ways you can help others. And when you help someone, you love like Jesus. <laughs> Did you like 
the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there is your story, and it's all true. Jesus took one little lunch and fed everyone. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, those people were so hungry, but they didn't have enough food to eat. So Jesus helped them by making sure everyone had enough food to eat. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm sure those people felt so loved when Jesus gave them food. I'm going to write, Jesus loves you on all of these bags. Now that's loving like Jesus. Bye. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17.